Hey, it's Brian here from quantlabs.net. I uh, just wanted to show you this final spreadsheet. Uh, this is kind of like a, a roadmap to the future of what I'll be working on, on potential strategies and actually implementing them into a live trading environment. As we've uh, basically implemented all these different technologies, know what we're going with, and I'll have all these different uh, technology solutions to cover different scenarios in the market conditions and now I have to obviously work on uh, strategies. So this is a spreadsheet I pieced together. There's two books that I've put in here. Um, one on C-sharp in financial markets and the other called trading systems and methods. Okay, so let's do the first uh, book. Now what I've got here is I've divided them up into sections and then based upon the type of asset uh, it is that that strategy is for. I've coded it with this FX, futures, options, FI, fixed income, and equity. Now also I pur purposely put this in the order of my priority as an asset that I'm really wanting to focus and do live trading with. So I just wanted to show all the different strategies coming out of, let's say, the c -sharp in financial markets. What you'll find in this book, there's a lot of fixed income strategies and there's also quite a number of option strategies too. Now it doesn't mean any of these strategies can't be used in other types of uh, assets, but the ones that are provided as examples, uh, that's what they use. So that's just one emphasis on the book that I wanted to highlight, is that this book does focus on options and fixed income, okay? So it's different, I'm not gonna go over each strategy, I just wanna show the asset types and what you can start uh, uh, seeing or coming down the pipes uh, uh, from my perspective because this whole process is basically the next big uh, avenue I have to go down um, in terms of trying to identify which are the best trading strategies to go with for as a set for live trading. Now on top of that uh, this book really complements uh, the you know what's like what's missing or the gaps from the C-sharp in financial markets uh, this book here, The Trading Systems and Methods, uh, focuses more on what's not, you know, like futures and forex strategies. So I'll show you that in a minute. Um, but obviously this code here is in C sharp. This is pretty well, pretty close to ready to go with my trading uh, environment that I've got set up as part of the workshop I did in 2013. That's now part of my new uh, Elite membership. So now, uh, with this, with these trading strategies, basically, you'll see here I've divided up the technology language that these strategies are uh, developed in. Now, I got ones that are uh, in Excel as a worksheet, and the other ones in TradeStation. Um, so this is what's happening is, obviously I'm getting more and more strategies, more and more third-party software in Excel, so that gives me more reason not to have to use uh, platforms or languages like R or Python because Excel can do the same type of um, thing and I'm always finding equivalent uh, code bases or examples or add-ins or whatever in Excel when I see stuff in R or TradeStation or sorry R and uh, Python. Now with TradeStation itself obviously it's one of the more popular uh, retail trading platforms so there's a lot of uh, source code examples in TradeStation, easy language uh, using, I think it's TradeStation 9. Um, so I have to uh, transition that code into C Sharp so it can be ready for my trading environment. Okay, so that is something that needs to be um, understood. So that's where a lot of time is going to be spent on that. The other thing that I want to highlight here is that these, this book was excellent in identifying uh, indicators that can be used uh, as part of the trading decision for entry and exits in um, positions and market conditions. So this book is going to be using a lot of those uh, code bases uh, and, and obviously translating that back into C Sharp or D, uh, basically .NET. Now the other big thing that I want to highlight here is that the, um, again, the asset type, okay, Forex, futures, options, whatever, okay. Here, when you look at them, a lot of it is futures, F, or um, FX, or 4X, 
this. There's a lot of that. And then you'll find the odd one where it might be an equity uh, for stocks. All right, so that's why each book really complements each other from uh, you know, from, from a different set of uh, strategies that are available. Now, as you can see also, uh, there's going to be over 200 strategies. Now, the highlight here is, you know, a lot of these strategies may or may not work. Obviously, I have to trade them in both uh, a, a trading environment, a live trading with live real-time market data. I've got a whole system set up for that, and I'll be plugging away to see what works and what doesn't work. Um, and my goal is basically to, to, to try to figure out, as I said, maybe a top 10, which shows potential for trading and profit uh, consistently and, and robust. Uh, from talking to various uh, real insiders, like we're talking legends in, in the uh, markets uh, that run high frequency trading operations, prop shops, and hedge funds, I've talked to numerous over the last few years, uh, one of the big highlights that I came away with you, you know, I'm always um, uh, shocked basically at a lot of the traders that run like automated trading system environments and uh, you know they do well for uh, when you're running one or two strategies in a live environment but they get clobbered at some point when the market conditions change and a lot of strategies are no good anymore so a good instance is obviously what happened in, in the fall of 2008. A lot of people's accounts got blown out because a lot of their strategies weren't built for those trading and marketing conditions. So one of the key things I've learned over the last few years is basically, which makes sense, is, is an, I guess you could say an insider secret, is a lot of these very successful trading operations like the big boys that are running like high frequency trading operations they don't rely on one or two or five strategies or even 10. What they're doing is they're running literally hundreds or most likely dozens and dozens of live trading uh, models, strategies uh, in parallel with each other that uh, self-adapt to those market conditions. Not only that, but obviously they're, 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 they're um, watching different types of assets. Again, the Forex, the futures, options, and all that. And that's kind of what I'm mimicking here. Um, and uh, that's the goal. Uh, it might take me a year to get to that level, to know what works and what doesn't work, and also have uh, live trading strategies that can, uh, at any point, uh, kick in uh, when it's needed based upon the market conditions on my uh, screeners and listeners to the market conditions, because I'm gonna have tons of them. And again, I come back to Excel, where I've got third-party software that's picked out that does that very, very well. So that's the goal. Uh, again, this is not the end, what I call end roadmap. This is just the start. Um, if you look at uh, my uh, my um, my uh, new uh, Quant uh, Labs Academy, uh, let me just pull up my browser here. Uh, what I'm going to show you is where else we're going to go, and everything's starting to come together now. Uh, so let me just show you what I mean. Uh, now, again, I've been posting a lot about um, my uh, thoughts on retail uh, trading platforms and whatnot. But what I want to show you here is since last summer of 2013, these new courses have always existed. But there's a reason why that these were created. These courses were m further uh, strategies that I can add to this long list. I mean, each one literally uh, totals probably a few hundred each. And again, we're talking uh, from different uh, platforms, uh, specifically MATLAB Heater. Uh, we've got R as well, uh, and as well as some specialized quant, uh, just pure algorithms. And of course, the trading platform stuff that I've got, which this one focuses on for what I'm using uh, moving forward. So. All this stuff is now going to get starting to, to pop up in my new uh, elite service, which is here. And um, basically, that's where everything's going to start uh, getting uh, uh, implemented into. Um, so again, that's what you're going to start seeing. I'll post a lot of, a lot of results on YouTube uh, on what I see. 
But if you want the code, you want the solutions, you know where to go. Here. <laughs> All right. So that's the future of where things are going among. This is just the start. Um, and I forgot to mention another important thing. This book, okay, is like both these books, I think, if you're getting into automated trading, should be uh, looked at and researched on. You know, these books have been great for me over the last uh, few, well, last, let's say, a couple of weeks. Um, but the one thing I love about this book is when you start with a complicated book like from Paul Wilmont, and if you're not, let's say, a strong person in math, or formally educated in math, or like me, just like a one plus two equals three kind of guy. Um, this book is quite good because it fully explains a lot of the tr uh, mathematical logic that goes into a lot of these strategies. And at the same time, because you have the source code in TradeStation, that enables you to see uh, not only the algorithm logic, but you can also see uh, the entry and exit positions using this code. So. This is a really powerful book, which then obviously leads down the line uh, with confidence, I can add, uh, you'll be able to start building out and fully understanding more complicated uh, mathematical um, uh, books like uh, Paul Wilmot, John Hall, and so on and so forth. Not saying we're gonna, I'm going to be a math expert, obviously not, but I'll be a lot better with the math and a lot of these uh, equations that you do see. So I just thought I'd put all that out there, um, but this is the start of the next big phase here at quantlabs.net and the only focus. With the odd thing on technology, obviously implementing things like better visualization libraries or maybe implementing uh, a rapid database like SQL Server 2014. I've talked about enough about all that, but the, the, the real primary focus now will be on the strategies and the like with other strategies coming out of um, this course, these set of courses I showed you in the um, academy, uh, the R, the MATLAB stuff, the algorithms themselves, so on and so forth. So that's where we're going, and uh, hopefully you can uh, be part of it. Talk to you later.